that is awesome. You've got these, look at it. Oh, it's glistening. The proboscis is glistening. Oh. We're on, I guess you could say we're on a safari, a, a micro, microcosmic safari. And as I look over the field of milkweed here, you're seeing a lot of activity, a lot of insects that are flying around. This is gonna be invisible to most people other than they see these little pink pom-poms as they drive by and they probably don't give it a second thought, but take a little extra time and you're gonna see that those little pink pom-poms are a world onto themselves with all these strange, charming little life forms. So there's all this life that you're gonna find on this one plant. Bees, to wasps, to beetles, to, well, probably the most charismatic, the monarch butterfly. One of the defining characteristics of monarchs is that they are tied to this milkweed. That is their plant. In terms of relationship to the plant, it's absolutely key to have these available to monarchs. No milkweed, no monarchs, it's that simple. The larvae absolutely require the milkweed to feed upon. The milkweed has some substantial defenses. It has latex that it produces. For instance, if I puncture this vein, we'll get some latex oozing out. On top of that, the plant has an additional deterrent, which is a poison. The monarch can deal with this. So eggs are laid on here, monarch caterpillars, larvae, feed on the plant, not only are they able to successfully graze upon the milkweed despite the latex gumminess and despite the poison, they're actually able to incorporate some of that poison into their own bodies and use that as a defense against predators themselves. I mean, the milkweed not only provides protection for the butterfly, but it's essentially a crib for its babies. It's like a nursery. So what happens if you don't have a nursery? your numbers are gonna decline. And that is the very serious threat that is facing monarch butterflies right now. So here, it's great because we're a national park. Milkweeds are protected. But of course, one of the things that make monarchs so special is this epic migratory journey that they make with different generations traveling throughout North America. This great little patch of habitat here isn't enough. 
once you get outside these protected places, those milkweeds right now are on the decline. And that's mostly because of herbicides. One of the things with milkweed is that they're very effective at colonizing areas that are disturbed. So a classic example of wonderful milkweed habitat are the hedgerows in between row crops. There has been some genetic engineering more recently that have made crops more resistant to herbicides, which means that greater amounts and higher concentrations of herbicides can be applied. And in many cases, this is finally too much for the milkweed. When the milkweed goes, the monarchs go as well. This is one of the most beautiful butterflies you're gonna find. Orange and black stained glass windows that are kind of fluttering through the meadow. If you ask a child, what is their favorite insect? They might say a butterfly, and if you ask them which one, they would probably say a monarch, and that seems like a terrible thing to take away from our kids. You know, there's that John Muir quote, pull on one thing in nature, and you'll find the rest of the universe hitched to it. Just look at one milkweed plant, and you will find a whole universe.